Welcome back to another truck and vlog. Uh, we are getting ready to leave here in Joplin. Um, we took a really long uh, break, but it doesn't matter because uh, we're not supposed to be there till Monday at 8 a.m. So. We gotta go uh, get fuel. I almost forgot. I'm glad I remembered that as I started driving. We gotta stop and fill up. Once we get the fuel, we're leaving. So, uh, yeah. There's one guy I saw here last night. I thought it was a guy that I met before, and I was like, "What's up, dude?" And he's like, "Huh?" I'm like, "Oh." I was like, "Your name not Corey?" He's like, "No." It, it looks like that guy. So I was confused. I was like, "Wow." We're just gonna uh, weigh our uh, trailer axle. I'm not gonna lie guys, I really didn't feel like driving today. I just wanted to stay put. Uh, is the scale broken? Uh oh. It's not zeroed. Oh, is it cause someone broke that? hard to use a scale. Thirty-three five hundred. Anyways, we're gonna get our fuel here. And then we gotta go by the guard check. All that fun stuff. It says it's 65 out, but I went to go take the padlock to the trailer because you gotta lock your trailer to get out of here to make you. Um, and it felt like it was like 40, dude. I was freezing, so I'm gonna have to throw my sweatshirt on. We got gas at the Joplin yard, but uh, I forgot we kind of needed def. And so we're down to like a little bit above a quarter of a tank, which we might be able to make it down to Siegelville without getting deaf, but I'll probably stop at a Loves and get it here soon. Um, I don't know, it's with the CFI yards, it's kind of hard, cause like, I know West Memphis doesn't have deaf ever. Uh, I th I'm sure Joplin does, but I don't know what pump. I know it's labeled, but I, I didn't even think about it, so that's on me, but uh, yeah, we're headed out now, uh, we just, getting onto I-44 westbound and then we're gonna be cutting down um, and it's 384 miles till we get to uh, Siegelville and then we're gonna stop in Siegelville and uh, probably watch the game tonight I think we'll be there oh no we'll be there after game time dang dude I should have I should have got up earlier I was just like you know what like I'm just gonna sleep in like there's no reason to like wake up at 7 and drive so I slept until like 11 had a ham and cheese sandwich no I had ham turkey cheese and pepperoni with mayonnaise and mustard and the bread's already getting a little stale and I've only had it in the truck for like three days so I need to stop eating my pizzas because those tortillas will last way longer than those slices of bread so I need to really eat the bread first and then I can have my pizzas but yeah last night we went down to Texas Roadhouse and uh we sat at the bar because like the whole place was packed like so packed like for just me, he said an hour wait, and I was like, holy crap. So I was like, what about bar? And he's like, oh yeah, see if you can find a spot at the bar. So I went and sat at the bar, and I ran into two other guys that just got their CDLs that were gonna drive for CFI. They got their CDLs that day. So that was kind of cool. It's always cool to see people, you know, getting their CDLs and stuff. Um, maybe Sunday, we'll make the video about pay, uh, which means it'll come out Monday, because I guess, I guess I'm gonna be making a driving video tomorrow because I'm gonna be driving from Seagullville to Laredo. So, I don't know, we'll see. I, I, It's probably gonna be one of those videos where I'm like on home time because um, I'd rather make content about the truck moving, you know? And it's probably gonna be like a 10 minute video maybe, maybe not, somewhere in there I think. Um, but 
yeah, I know you guys want that, so I'm definitely gonna end up making it for you guys. You just have to give me time. And yeah, uh, so we got 384 miles to go. And uh, I don't know how much we'll record on the way there. I'm glad that my relay did not go to West Memphis. Apparently, the whole interstate was shut down for a protest, which I'm not even gonna get into that because. All right, guys, uh, I've always wanted to try Moe's. I've heard it's not that good, <laughs> but I've always wanted to try it, and I, I want, I've been craving a burrito, so we're going to stop here um, and get some truck parking and uh, go inside, get a burrito, um, and then continue on. we got 140 miles remaining. Green light. I also got to go pee, so this just works out good. I really don't know the layout of this truck stop, but it looks like they got a lot of these spots set up for a blind side, which I really don't like. We will see what we can do here. Side. These not reserved. Those spots are not reserved, so that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna, um, and yeah, we're gonna go here. See how close on this back side. We're pretty close. Um, I don't know. Maybe we don't. Do we just park in the fuel island? Crap, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I mean, those are reserved. We probably could park there for just a little bit. Yeah, no one's gonna mess with us if we just park there for like 10 minutes. No one's gonna say a thing, so that's what we're just gonna do. Or, or do they say pilot? No, they just say reserved. That's what we're gonna do. Just take it nice and easy. There's no, no one's gonna say crap. Forget my tandems are back. Oh my goodness.
right, we'll be back here in a little bit. So we stopped at the pilot and we had Moe's for dinner. Moe's is a kind of like a crappy Chipotle. Um, I would give it a out of 10. I would give it a 6.5. I would give like a Chipotle out of 10, like a nine. So that's that's where Moses is at. Um, I had the home wrecker burrito with chicken. Um, it was $10.29. But I've been craving Chipotle for so long and I knew Moe's was kind of like Chipotle. Like every time I go home, I want Chipotle and I haven't had Chipotle yet in a long time, I guess. Um, Cause they're just so far, you know, like Everywhere I go, they're never in the same vicinity. So, yeah, but I had Moe's. I give it a 6.5. Uh, would I eat there again? Yeah, for sure. Uh, for truck drivers, um, places like that are very few and far between, and it gives you something to change up on instead of just like Hardee's or Carl's Jr. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much where I stand. Uh, we will see you guys in Siegelville. We are on our way right now. We got 139 miles to go. Every time I come to Siegelville, it feels like the building gets closer and closer to that road. I don't know why they have those there, but that makes it really hard to turn in here. I mean, I guess we got it done, but kind of makes it a little harder for us drivers. Uh, crap. Let me move this armrest, then I can get it. There we go. Uh, so we got to wait on this gate here, but we are here in Siegelville. Hopefully we got a double spot, otherwise I'm going to have to slide my tandems because they're kind of back and I think you guys could tell that from when I was trying to back in at that pilot. I might actually park down here unless there's like something easy but it's also Friday so a lot of these spots are going to be taken because when, at least whenever I come to Seagoville on the weekend, it's always a wait. Just let that guy go. There we go, we got ourselves a straight back, straight ahead. Where's that one there, is that? Are those quite straight backs? Because it just depends if there's a... Yeah, I can't make that. That's okay. I'm just gonna take one of those down there. one there but I think these down here are gonna be easier so hard with your tandems back. 
just not used to cutting it like that. too hard there. Well, let's just uh, get her going. It might be good. Let's give her some more left here. We'll be good. No, we won't. Pretty much have it though, so you pull up to the right, and back over to the left, and back straight, like that. There we go. sticking out a little bit here though. Alright, that's where we're gonna go. Alright guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for future content. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Come on, everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven Come and ride with me, yeah, let me show you how I'm living Come on